This summer, I attended a workshop called Universal Design for Learning. The premise of the workshop was that diversity is the norm, and that as teachers, we must teach to diversity, not expect students to learn to the mean. Universal Design for Learning has three components, multiple means of presentation, multiple means of engagement, and multiple means of action, expression, or assessment. When I returned to GDS, I was curious which parts of my teaching could benefit from a UDL approach, which parts would be difficult to teach in multiple ways, and which parts might I have to drop altogether. The disabilities I most frequently see in my classroom are processing disabilities, attention disabilities, and print disability. I wanted to see how technology might help me better support students with these attributes while helping all of my students learn at a higher level. Specifically, I wanted to see how the iPads might help me provide information in different ways, engage my students in different ways, assess my students in different ways, and, the big one, replicate myself so that I'm using myself in the most efficient and necessary role as often as possible. Bored. Playing with hair, falling asleep. <laughs> Bored. Something's funny, but she's not sure what. Bored. <laughs> Having fun, but not totally sure why he's here. Okay. <laughs>
Oh, well, wolves yeah. hunt. Wolves will help moose with ice fires because their joints are swelling and they can't move that fast. Claire, Claire, what's your hypothesis of what um what moose would wolves hunt? Would they hunt moose with tooth decay, arthritis, or osteoporosis? So far, we've done these three, and we think that this one has. Um, the word arthritis, Mateo, the is right loss here. of bones arthritis. because it has circles under here, and, and it's it's getting it's getting worn down over here and cracking. What do you think? Which wolf would hunt which moose? This one because it has arthritis and it's weak. So um, as you can see there, right there. Um, um, it, um, the bone wouldn't really be good in there, so it would be hard to run. And yeah, and um, When your classmates have finished watching the video, we'll look more closely at universal design and complete some of the activities in this list below. In the meantime, choose from one of the activities and do it with a partner or independently. Ask questions at any time and let your colleagues and your instructor know which of these topics is most important to you in the time we have.